Order of operations or operator precedence is an important part of Java in knowing what operation is going to happen next. To start our discussion of order of operations, I'm going to talk about something that is hopefully familiar with you, and that is PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What PEMDAS means is I'm going to do parentheses before I do exponents, and then after exponents I'm going to do multiplication and division, and lastly we're going to do adding or subtracting. And this is reflected in the chart above. First we have parentheses, multiply, divide, and modulus division are all on the same level, then we have addition and subtraction on the same level, and finally the assignment operator is going to happen last. And you'll notice that these all read left to right, but on the assignment operator, it's going to read right to left. On the left of this chart, I have some mathematical expressions. And if you're in math class, you could probably quickly realize what the person was trying to do. As in the case of Zn, you would probably be saying Z times N. But Java is not that savvy and would not be able to compile a code like this. You'd actually have to spell it out for it and say z times n. Same thing is true for the next example. You would have to say 3 times z plus n, or z over n would look like z forward slash n. And then our last example is going to show us order of operations because it would look like z plus 20 divided by n plus 10, but the problem is this does not equal this expression over here. And the reason is because of PEMDAS, multiplication and division are before addition and subtraction. So it would be 20 divided by n, and then we would add z and add 10, which would be a completely different outcome of what this is trying to express. So the correct way to write this would be put parentheses around the z plus 20, parentheses around the n plus 10. It would do that first, because it does parentheses first, and then it would do the division. In this example, we're trying to find the average of 190. Now, if we we're going to do this, we would sum them up together and then divide by the amount, which would be 2. And if we did this as written, it would not give us the correct average because it would not follow the correct order of operations. The value that it would give us would be 145. The reason is division happens before addition, and so 90 divided by 2 would be 45.0, and then we would add 100 to that, which would give us 145. If we did want it to do it correctly, we'd have to add parentheses around the 100 plus 90 and then divide by 2, and the answer would be 95. So we would do 100 plus 90 first and then divided by 2, which would be, again, 95. Let's try this with another example of multiplication then division. Well, multiplication and division are on the same level, so it would multiply first and then divide. 10 times 5 is 50, divided by 2 is 25. In case you're wondering, because modulus division might be new to you, it's on the same level as multiplication or division. The multiplication would happen first, and then the modulus division. So 10 times 5 would be 50, modulusly divided by 2 would be 0. The modulus division would happen, though, before adding or subtracting if that were in the equation. Order of operations are not restricted just to add, subtract, multiply, divide, and parentheses. There's actually quite a few in Java, and it's kind of overwhelming if you look at it just at one time. And you actually have to learn a lot about the language before this chart even makes sense. So we've started with some pretty simple order of operation material with PEMDAS, as you grow in your programming experience, hopefully you can come back to this chart or find a chart like it and see where all operations fit into Java. It might even solve some vexing problems for you when you can't figure out why is it doing this before that or that before this when I want it to behave in a certain way. And a lot of times those problems come down to order of operations.